Hi friends, I'm back and I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. This one comes from this cookbook, The New Persian Kitchen by Louisa Shafia. This cookbook is so beautiful. It's one of the more stunning cookbooks that I've ever seen. The recipe that I'm going to be making out of this is called pomegranate soup. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for this video. For the cooking portion, I am not going to be doing a voiceover explaining what I'm doing. I'm just going to let you watch it and I'll have text telling you what everything is. But I will be reading a portion from this book that I just thought was really beautiful and I wanted to share with you all. So hope you enjoy. Have you ever heard of an Iranian restaurant? My guess is you haven't. Restaurants in America that serve food from Iran are usually called Persian, or even more enigmatically, Middle Eastern, even Mediterranean. You can't blame the restaurant owners. Due to the United States' long-running Cold War with Iran, the name continues to carry negative connotations. But the debate over whether to say Persia or Iran goes back much further than the present era. Records dating back to the Persian Empire in the 3rd century CE refer to a race of people known as Aryans, the word of the modern word Iranians. Although Aryan is a loaded term for us today, perhaps best known for its perverse use by Nazi Germany, Aryan is simply a Sanskrit word meaning noble that was used to refer to Indo-European people who inhabited Iran, Afghanistan, and India. The Greeks, those famously fluent chroniclers of ancient history, called the Iranians Parsis because the first great ruler of the Persian Empire, Cyrus the Great, was based in the province of Pars. Because our historical perspective of the ancient world was handed down to us by the Greeks, the term Persian has been used in the West to refer to Iranians ever since. So which is the correct word, Persian or Iranian? Technically, Iranian is the proper term. It's what people inside Iran have been calling themselves since the beginning of their history. And in practical terms, there is no place on the map called Persia. At the same time, most of the historical accomplishments of the Iranian people known to the West have been attributed to Persians. And that's how we've come to appreciate Persian poetry, astronomy, miniature painting, rug weaving, and of course, fine Persian cuisine. I use both words interchangeably throughout the book. That way, we keep ourselves grounded in reality, but we still have a little room left to dream, too. So this pomegranate soup is shot through with the tart ruby acid of pomegranate. The savory soup, the savory soup shows how the fruits and vegetables of the Iranian garden are threaded into every colorful panel of its culinary tapestry. Both the meat and vegetarian versions of this soup are fragrant and satisfying, and the flavors get better with time. When fresh herbs aren't available for the meatballs, replace them with half the amount of dried herbs. I wanted to share those few excerpts from the book because I thought they were a great reminder that we need to keep our eyes and minds open to other cuisines and be willing to try and not demonize or stereotype a cuisine just because of where it's from. And this book was a great example of how every culture has part of it that's so beautiful and important to share. I will be leaving a link down below to Louisa's website and where you can buy this cookbook because I really recommend it. I think it's very, very lovely. As far as this soup goes, this was definitely a winner. <laughs> I will for sure be making this again, especially when pomegranates are in season because it was a little difficult to find a pomegranate, but I managed. <laughs> the flavors were excellent together. The only thing, the only thing that I would have changed is to add a little bit of heat, maybe some crushed red pepper flake or some cayenne, but that's just a personal preference. But overall, yes, I loved this and I thought it was really fun and unlike anything that I'd ever had before, so I highly recommend trying it.
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this recipe. Let me know what you think of this format. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.